Hello, I'm Sharon Stone. You would never have guessed that, I know. And I'm playing a character called Joe Marlowe on Law & Order, SVU. <laughs> they called and said, hey, would you do the show? Would you think about doing the show? And I thought, oh, would I? You know, I watch it <laughs> obsessively. <laughs> every day, and <laughs> I TiVo it obsessively, watch it compulsively. Um, would I do it? And, and I, was, I was like, oh, um, you know, wh what would it be like? And then he started talking to me about, well, we were thinking of inventing this character, and this is what we thought the character might be like. And it sounded kind of intriguing, and I thought it would be fun. My dad had just passed away, and they had called me and said, you know, we're thinking of giving this um, a character a non-gender specific name. And so we've been going through the names and thinking about which name we want to call the character. And we're thinking of calling the character Joe. And my heart just stopped because <laughs> that was my dad's name. And I was like, oh, OK. <laughs> All right. And I had thought, oh, why am I even surprised? It's so poignant and so right. I thought that was um, a very interesting story. Um, and there are elements of this, this woman's story that haven't been brought to television before, uh, that we talked about that I thought were brave, and that I thought that I had the capacity to bring to television. <laughs> when I first came, into this show, which is in its 11th year. Now, I've done other shows. I did The Practice and Huff and Will and Grace. So I thought I had done television and was prepared to do this. But when you come into a show that's in its 11th year, you're not on a train. You're on the bullet train. So it was like being dropped into Thailand. And everybody's speaking another language because nobody speaks in full sentences anymore. They're moving like this. None of the standard operating procedure that I learned in my career in film or my career in the television that I had done applied because they're all on shortcuts now. They don't have time. They're shooting these episodes. They're getting them out really fast. They're a team. They're all used to working with each other. They're making jokes all day long to just to keep the energy going. And I'm like, I had no idea what was going on, and I was apoplectic. It would become my turn to speak, and I couldn't even remember my name. It was so fast and so shorthand and so much movement and no real rehearsals. I didn't know what was going on, and I thought, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do this. I was terrified. I think the first week, I had two or three days before the weekend, and Saturday I had theater tickets, and I had to go home and go to bed. I couldn't go to the theater. I literally had to go lay down in the middle of the day and, and lay on the bed like, oh, I don't know if I can handle it.